to another vlog. Usually when I do my life lately vlogs, they span over an entire month, but this one will be a bit shorter than that. I think I'm only really just gonna vlog this weekend. Um, maybe a couple of days during the week if anything fun happens. I am waiting for something in the mail that would be kind of fun to unbox on camera. So if that shows up, maybe I'll vlog a little bit next week as well. But hope you're doing well. Um, nothing new to report here. Uh, still living without a living room rug. Our rug went off to get cleaned last month and unfortunately there have been so many storms and power outages here in the region over the last over the, over the last month or so the rug cleaning place was super backed up and they weren't operational for a while because of the power outages and um still no rug so if i show you any clips of my living room and there's just a rug pad and you're wondering why now you know right now i'm craving a latte and there's this dolce de leche a latte from a local coffee shop here called common coffee that is so good i get it iced and it just makes me so so happy so i might i might go for a nice little lunchtime walk and, and grab a latte from there also the, the starbucks pumpkin stuff is back i think this week i feel like every year they do it sooner and sooner and before you know it we're gonna be having pumpkin spice in june you know um it's crazy i'm i'm pumpkin neutral so i don't love it nor do i hate it um sometimes i am kind of in the mood for a little fall spice and i don't mind it i um, actually really liked the um was it for the virtuo machine the nespresso virtuo um pods they had a pumpkin flavor last year that they did for a short amount of time and those are pretty good my gripe with nespresso is that the flavors that i fall in love with are always limited edition so that annoys me it's like trader joe's enough rambling just that i would say hi and introduce you to this vlog and we'll uh we'll catch up in a bit update nespresso has early access for the pumpkin capsules and you bet i ordered some is this not the most delicious thing you've ever seen in your life look at these pastries they're so good dina sent me this whole tray of baklava and just delicious treats for my birthday thank you dina i love and miss you if you're watching this i wish you were here sharing these treats with me <laughs> um but yeah i am i'm in heaven right now project done welcome to my laundry room <laughs> I reorganized and deep cleaned and this is where I store peppers stuff um, extra kitchen towels and a lot of peppers extra grooming supplies and some treats and stuff like that as well as our aprons that's actually a picture from CBO from my hometown uh, Michael took this picture the first time um, I took him to Romania to meet my family so thought it'd be fun to put it up here everything nice and organized which makes me really happy and then in this little bag here I just have more of Pepper's grooming supplies Pepper's coat cleaner <laughs> and I just have some um, her brushes and nail clippers and paw balm and stuff like that. I like to have them handy because I do brush her pretty regularly. Michael has been growing spicy pepper peppers for the last three years on the patio and this is our current harvest. I'm very excited. The jalapenos are lethal um, so we're gonna try to pickle them and there's like those those guys over there those are super spicy too everything else is mild and um they're gonna be great roasted there's a roasted tomato uh, there's a roasted red pepper and tomato soup that i love to make this time of year because it's you know pepper and tomato season i think i've shown it on the vlog before pretty sure we made a big batch last year 
Um, I used to also make it when I lived in Canada. I used to do it in um, in the oven. So I'll put the recipe in the, in the description box, but so good. Walking through a stinky alley, oh, working up our appetite for dinner. <laughs> with this color I painted my nails last night and I feel like I'm already seeing tip wear but I love this color so much I don't wear it often but it's such a pretty fall color it's like not quite black not quite brown somewhere in the middle um, it's called CN by Olive and June and I was just craving I was craving dark nails and I don't like dark nails on me when my nails are long so I chopped my nails and did this little situation, which I quite like. Uh, the ring is from Italy. It, there's no brand name on it or anything. I bought it from a jewelry stand in Florence, but I really like the way dark short nails look. I guess I'm ready for fall. <laughs> oh, we had such a fun weekend. We got to hang out with some friends. We got to spend a lot of time outside. I'm just kind of savoring every last bit of summer. I don't do very well in the cold. My limbs, my circulation. So I will take sunshine. I'm just using my Armani cushion foundation and I need to put in some laundry. And today that, um, that vintage bag that I ordered is supposed to show up. So I'm excited. I can unbox it with you. Um, and I guess I'll tell you the story of that bag before it arrives. Uh, I saw it on TikTok. And the funny thing is, is that it, was, it wasn't like a fashion TikTok or anything like that. It was just a random TikTok that showed up on, on my page of just a day in the life. You know how some people do these little day in the life mini vlogs that are like 15 to 30 seconds long on on TikTok and this young girl was spending the day with her mom and they went they were in London they went um to this really cute cafe they went to this bookstore and I noticed the bag on this girl's mom and I was just like obsessed I had to find out the bag um she had mentioned that it was vintage and that it was Louis Vuitton and then I spent like an hour Googling furiously. <laughs> and then I found the bag at a consignment shop in Dubai and I bought it. I had sent a screenshot of it to my friend, Vanessa, who lives in Pittsburgh. And she said that she had just seen a very similar bag at one of her local consignment shops um, recently. So. I think they were making that bag in the late nineties, early two thousands, the year of the a bag that I got is from 1999 which is great and honestly it's so it's so funny to me getting older because and, and that's something that I think I never I never realized as as a child or when I was younger um, time time passing is just so strange to me because I still have so many vivid memories of, of life as a child and to me 1999 doesn't seem like it was that long ago but it was a long time ago and I mean so long that a bag manufactured in 1999 is considered vintage you know <laughs> um, I just think it's funny you know you know you're getting old when the stuff that was made in your lifetime that you have vivid memories of is now considered vintage but yeah I'm, I'm excited to get it I'm excited to show it to you. I hope it hope it lives up to expectations. I've been kind of hyping it up in, in my mind, but I think it's I think it's really cute. And I'm excited to share it with you. I'm trying to use up some of my project pan items and also trying to use up this powder. 
which I love using this time of year. I don't know why, but I'm always gravitating towards this powder in that weird in-between summer, fall weather. This is the Armani Neo Nude powder, and I think it's discontinued now. It's just a nice setting powder that doesn't look too powdery and it sets and it adds a little bit of coverage at the same time it's like it's like a, an hourglass ambient lighting powder but with more coverage so if you like the hourglass ambient lighting powders to kind of set your base but you want maybe a little bit of extra coverage see if you can find these the neo nude fusion powder by Giorgio Armani pretty sure it's discontinued but it might still be around really really loving this Kosas brow gel so I love this Kosas brow gel because it just kind of does everything I want it to do without too many products I can just use one product it does like a decent amount of filling lifting tinting i use the shade soft brown um some of you mentioned that you also like this but that it goes bad really quickly so i'm going to be definitely keeping an eye out that will really suck if that's the case so far it still smells fine my tube is about a month old and according to the packaging it's supposed to be good for six months which is like a decent time for a brow gel so i'll keep you posted look what has arrived let's uh let's dig in Packaging, it's very nice. So the name of the place where I bought this bag from is called the Luxury Closet. And like I said, it seems to be um, a Dubai-based luxury consignment store. They're, they seem to be legit. They also have, they accept returns as well, which is why I was very excited. So here it is, we got a little dust bag. It, uh, the bag, the Louis Vuitton bag obviously did not come with the, its original dust bag or box or anything like that, which was not really a big deal to me because I do have an extra Louis Vuitton dust bag from when I sent my old Speedy bag to be repaired. They gave it back to me with a new dust bag, so I have an extra Louis Vuitton dust bag if I really need it, but here she is. Oh my god. It's so cute. Oh, I love it so much. I'm so excited. So the style name of this bag is the Minui. Minui. Um, and it's just the coolest bag. It's in very good condition considering it is, you know, 22 years old. And I love it. It's in epi leather. Um, it's got a nice like suede interior It's all black. There's no interior pockets or anything it Says Louis Vuitton on there. There's the logo there um, There's like some moderate creasing on the strap, but I mean, I'm not really bothered by it. So nice little size I don't carry a lot of stuff with me anymore. I love that it can be worn crossbody or it can also be worn kind of like this like a like a top handle they had it styled um just like in, in the model was just wearing it like this with like a nice long dress and i think that's really cool too so really excited about it i can't wait to wear it i think for me for my lifestyle i can see me wearing this just like as a quick everyday bag you know I, it can fit my phone my card holder a lip balm my keys um, maybe you know a pair of sunglasses my blotting sheets that's really all I carry with me on a day-to-day -day basis you know a face mask a little hand sanitizer they can all fit in here easily um, and again it would be a really fun evening bag as well so I'm thrilled I'm so happy with my purchase and I'm sure you'll be seeing it worn and styled a bunch of ways on my Instagram in the coming weeks or months i'm by no means pivoting to a handbag review channel anytime soon i just wanted to share this with you because i'm really excited anyway um need to clean up this uh this mess all the all the wrapping papers and all that and
and uh, I'll check in with you in a little bit. All right, today is a new day. I'm wearing the bag out for the first time and I thought I would share my outfit. So I'm wearing a Aritzia bodysuit. They don't make this anymore. If you remember a few years back, I was really, I just really fell in love with this style. I think it was called the Cohen bodysuit, but I'm sure they make something similar now, but this is just the older style that I have. My trousers are by a brand called Forte Forte, heavily reduced in in the sales, in the summer sales, but I really, really love them. They're this cool cotton twill material. Love the color. This is like a, an amazing fabric that can be worn year round. So I love it. And then on my feet, I'm wearing these sandals. These are by, by Gianlito Rossi, also very old. And my bag. And here it is. It is so cool. It's like, I just love it so much. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm really excited about it. I think it's so cute. And this is how I would style it, like on a casual, everyday basis. And I can go in and out of it without taking it completely off, but um, depends on the size of the items that I, that I have in here. For some larger items, I would have to take it off in order to get like full access for it to be fully opened, but I love it. And again, it can be worn like this as well. I picked up another bottle of Clementine California by Atelier Cologne because as soon as I smelled it, I knew that my friend Marla would also love it. And her birthday is just two days after my birthday. And we're hanging out tonight to kind of celebrate both our birthdays. We're gonna go out for dinner and she's she's my fragrance soul sister we both love citrus we both love fresh we both love woodsy notes really beautifully straddles the world of zesty citrus with the nice freshness and woodsiness it's a beautiful beautiful fragrance for a year round but especially you know in in the warmer months it's it's nice and light but it does uh it does last nicely on on the skin because of that woodsy base so i'm gonna wrap it up for her and uh yeah i hope hope she loves it as much as i do come our living room rug is ready to pick up so we're going to go pick it up and then we're gonna drop off our dining room rug instead because this one is overdue there's only so much I can do with the little thistle <laughs> had there was a stain here from a planter that leaked and there was like soil <laughs> dirty soil water that left a stain that I was not able to get out with my little portable handheld cleaner and then pepper had a little accident on this side here I love this rug so much if you're wondering this rug is from ABC carpet and home I had such a nice time yesterday I went out for my birthday we went to a really really good Korean restaurant here in Ann Arbor called Miss Kim's it was so delicious I love potatoes in all shapes and sizes but they have this like crispy potato with a, a spicy Korean chili glaze on top that is just probably one of the best type of potato dishes I've ever had so 
highly recommend. And right now I'm reading a book called Silver Sparrow by Tayari Jones and I really, really like this book. If you liked The Vanishing Half and if you liked The Nightingale, you will really like Silver Sparrow. I feel like we've kind of come full circle in this vlog. Now the rug is back, everything is Everything is in its place and I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I might be missing an action for the next couple of weeks or so as I'll be spending a lot of time with my mom helping her recover from surgery. So fingers crossed everything will go well. I'm going to be staying with her. I do have one beauty recommendation to end this vlog with because I am truly truly impressed and that is an eyelash combination i'm very rarely impressed by mascaras nowadays and these two together get my seal of approval so for mascara the lancome lash Idol mascara if you liked the hourglass unlocked mascara the La, um marc jacobs at Lashed, the L'Oreal Lifting Mascara. This is kind of like a mixture of those three. It gives a really nice lift, length, separation. Doesn't give a whole lot of volume, but if you do two coats, you can build the volume up a little bit. But yeah, I really, really like it. Um, I like the fact that it doesn't smudge on me. It has this like curved synthetic wand that helps get in there and give a nice lift. It doesn't smudge on me at all, which is great, and it's uh, easy to remove. But in order to help hold my curl and really give this amazing lift, like usually by this point of the day, my lashes are not this curled. So this is kind of a big deal for me. Um, this product, which was recommended by my friend Becca Sun, this is the Peripera ink mascara fixer i bought this from yes style and it was really really great price point and i like the fact that you can kind of use it with different mascaras you can use it underneath any mascara that you want and it will just kind of help hold a curl longer i've only tried it with the lancome e doll which does a decent job at, at giving me a lift but it just i feel like them together kind of supercharges and and really really gives me more lift and more curl and i'm very very happy with this you're going to see this combination in my september beauty favorites 100 percent and hopefully during the month of september i'll get the chance to kind of test this little primer with other mascaras too and i can give you a more well-rounded review when that time comes but so far so good i'm very very happy with this combination so yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thanks for watching this vlog and uh, I'll be catching up with you in the next one. Bye.